this 80% of humanity will never ever see. Not because they can't travel, because it literally doesn't exist in their sky anymore. More than one third of people on this planet can't see the Milky Way at all from where they live. Whole generations are growing up thinking the night sky is just a few lonely stars and a glow from the city. And in the age of AI, even when they do see a photo of the Milky Way, a lot of people don't believe it's real. That is the big Milky Way problem. The Milky Way used to be a normal part of human life. You went outside and there it was. The beautiful bright river of stars that stretched right across the sky from horizon to horizon. And now, thanks to light pollution, around 80% of the world's population live under some level of light polluted skies. And the Milky Way is completely hidden from roughly one third of humanity. In places like Europe and North America, it's even worse. Around 60% of Europeans and nearly 80% of North Americans can't see the Milky Way at all from where they live. So when you ask how many people have actually truly seen the Milky Way, the honest answer is probably way less than what you think. And that number is shrinking every single year. Light pollution is the quiet thief. We don't really notice it until you see a map or until you stand out under a truly dark sky for the first time. All those lights together create this huge orange dome of sky glow that drowns out the stars. Most people growing up in cities today have never seen truly dark skies. And the sad part is they don't even know what they're missing. I'm incredibly lucky I've got access to places like the River Murray International Dark Sky Reserve here in South Australia. Some of the darkest skies on earth just a couple of hours drive from my city I live in. When you stand out there at midnight, you realize how wrong most modern night skies really are. You suddenly get it. Okay, this is what humans saw thousands of years ago. And here's the thing, I'm not talking about some once in a lifetime expedition to Namibia, I step a couple of hours outside of my normal life and I'm under dark skies like this. If you can't access dark skies, there's probably somewhere within reach of you too. I'm Matt Clark, this is Nightscape Odyssey, and I want you to use this channel to show you what the sky really looks like and how to photograph it honestly. And you can still experience it for yourself while it's getting harder and harder to find. Now, the added layer of AI. We're in a world where anyone can type a prompt and generate a perfect Milky Way image in a few seconds. On one side, you've got a real Milky Way photo shot under dark skies, a bit of grain, natural colors, a glow on the horizon. Next to it, you've got an AI generated scene that looks flawless, but the place doesn't exist anywhere. And then you've got real photos that have been pushed so hard in editing, they almost look fake anyway. All three of these end up in your social media feeds. And honestly, I don't blame you for not knowing which one is which anymore. So we've got this weird situation. For fewer people than ever can see the Milky Way with their own eyes. At the same time, there are more Milky Way images than ever flooding the internet. And a lot of viewers are thinking, yeah, that's probably AI. And as an astrophotographer, that hits extremely hard. You drive hours, you freeze your balls off at night time, you fight the wind and the clouds, and you babysit your camera for hours. And then someone scrolls past and goes, nice AI. So what actually makes a real night sky image? For me, it's not just about the pixels, it's about the experience tied to it. The moment your eyes fully adjust and you see that band of the Milky Way stretching overhead. A genuine astro photo is a translation of actually being there. 
Can we use stacking, noise reduction, and careful editing? Yeah, absolutely. Behind every frame, there's a, there's a real sky, a real place, a real time. In future videos, I'm gonna show you exactly how I capture and edit my images start to finish, so you can see what's possible without faking it. Okay, it's all kind of sounding pretty grim, but here's the good news. You're not powerless in this. So what do we do about this? We go, we find those dark sky reserves, those national parks, those places a couple of hours outside the city where the Milky Way still exists. We protect what's left. Point our lights down, use warmer bulbs, stop lighting up the sky for no reason. We share it honestly. Real photos, real stories, real connection to what's actually up there. Because the more people who see the real thing, the more people will fight to keep it. So that's the big Milky Way problem. More and more of us can't see the Milky Way at all. We're flooding the internet with images no one fully trusts anymore. And a whole piece of the connection to the night is quietly fading out of everyday life. But you still have time to do something about it. On this channel, I'm building a whole series to help you go from, I've never seen the Milky Way before, to I planned a trip, I stood under the sky, and I captured my own Milky Way image. If you don't wanna miss those videos, and you want real stories from real dark skies, make sure you subscribe to this channel with notifications turned on. And seriously, don't just scroll away from this one. Take this as a little nudge from someone who spends a lot of night under the stars. Go see the Milky Way while it's still relatively easy to find true dark skies. I'm Matt Clark, this is Nightscape Odyssey, and I'll see you out there under real night sky.